Question number seven is a question about terminal velocity. We've got two balls being dropped, X and Y. Uh, they are dropped from a very, very tall building so, such that they will reach their terminal velocity before hitting the ground. The balls are the same diameter. X has a greater mass than Y. Let's do a little diagram here to represent our balls. X and Y. And it asks us to work through which statement is correct. So before we address these statements, let's first of all consider what is meant by terminal velocity. Terminal velocity is when the drag is equal to the weight. So X has a very large weight compared to Y. We'll represent that as capital M G, whereas Y has a much smaller mass and therefore a much smaller g so we'll call that lowercase m g as soon as these objects are dropped they will be accelerating at 9.81 and they will develop some velocity as the velocity increases so does the drag acting on them and after a certain length of time the drag will reach a value similar to this Now you can see from my diagram that the drag here is roughly the same length as the weight. So this one has reached terminal velocity. However, X has not reached terminal velocity. X still has a net force acting down. It is still getting faster and faster. Therefore, X will, be, will not hit the ground at the same time as Y. Because it is travelling faster, it's going to hit the ground well before Y does. Have a look at option B. The terminal velocity of Y is greater than that of X. Well, that's the opposite of what we've just said. The terminal velocity of X will be greater. Eventually, X will reach terminal velocity, but that would be when the drag uh, is much higher. It'll be up here somewhere, by which time it's already travelling much, much faster than ball Y. Part C, the initial acceleration of both balls is the same. Well, we know that two objects, when they're dropped from rest, have an acceleration equal to 9.81 meters per second squared. So we know this to be correct. And just for completeness, let's have a look at part D. The balls have the same kinetic energy before hitting the ground. Now that's nonsense. The balls for a start have different masses. Kinetic energy is half mv squared. The different masses would certainly give them a different uh, kinetic energy, but also they have different velocities. So ball x, as well as having a much larger mass, will also have a much higher velocity. So it will have far more kinetic energy than uh, ball y. So d is incorrect, which means that we can confirm that our correct answer here is c. Thank you for watching this video from Cowan Physics. If you found it useful, please like, subscribe, and visit cowanphysics.com.